So I took a ride up to uh, Chiha Mountain today. My intention was just to come up here and ride around on the roads and uh, check out the uh, foliage. It's supposed to be right at its peak. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I wanted to get up here before the rain knocked a lot of the leaves off. But um, yeah, I come up here just to ride around and look at the leaves, but I end up uh, going on a hike out here in the woods. I saw on my uh, map a uh, hike through the woods uh, to Chiaha Falls. So uh, I went ahead and <clears throat> took off out in the woods. Really nice, really nice falls to visit. Uh, I've got some pictures and some video I'll put up, but uh, I'm gonna have to come more prepared next time. Keep my nap, my backpack, and my walking stick, and something more than just one bottle of water in the truck in case I decide to do this again. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful day here, fall day. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you. I'll put some of the pictures up for you to share to see and share with you. Have a good day, everyone. So this is my ride up to the mountain. We're just about to the uh, entry to the park here. I had my GoPro set up in the windshield to record this video of the ride up there, but unfortunately I didn't realize my video card was full, so it didn't record in that video. So I had to resort to using my uh, dash cam, which is uh, a little cheaper camera so the color and the uh, quality of the video is not as good as what I had hoped I would be getting so I just had to live with what I had here's actually the entrance to Chiha Park here this is where you register and uh, pay your fees and everything this is the upper campground here and we're gonna continue on down to the uh, lower campground side so we're actually in the park now so as we get deeper into the park along this road the tree canopy gets more covered over the road and uh, the colors really start standing out so what I'm gonna do is uh, gonna put some pictures of uh, this drive that I actually took with my cell phone which is much better video quality pictures and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. It was really beautiful up here this day. So I drove a little further past the boundary lines of the state park uh, looking for a place to turn around and go back and I found that turnaround spot but when I turned into it it had a uh, one of those brown signs and it was giving uh, directions to all the trails in the area and one of them was a trail to Chia Falls. And I figured I had plenty of time, it's a pretty day so I decided to go ahead and head down the road that take me to Chiha Falls and see what that looked like. So those directions on the sign led me down this dirt road for about a mile and uh, deep in uh, Talladega National Forest here it's a beautiful forest so uh, this road ended up taking me to a uh, small blacktop road within the forest. Now once I got to the blacktop road, there were no directional signs telling me which way to go or anything, so I pulled up my uh, 
GPS on the uh, Google and put in the Chiaha Falls and uh, service was kind of spotty so it was going in and out but it, ind it indicated that there were two roads uh, one was a dirt road and one was just a trail this is the dirt road that is supposed to lead you down to uh, Chiaha Falls uh, and then a short hike to the falls but as you see here I stopped and uh, had some flashbacks of my younger days when we used to go riding uh, in my old pickup truck, me and my brother, and it seemed like we'd always get stuck. So after seeing those mud holes at the beginning of this road, I decided that it wasn't a good idea since I didn't have Steve there to help me get me out. So I decided to go up the road and uh, park at the uh, trail where you walk into the uh, falls. And it, in the map, it looked like it was probably a closer route than driving down this road. Even though I had to walk, it was a shorter distance. <clears throat> so here's that uh, other road that's kind of grown up. There's a gate at the entryway. Uh, it hasn't been used much, but it's a good walking trail to the falls. So uh, we pulled up in here and parked off the road not to block the gate. And uh, we took a hike down this road that led to the falls. So here's a little map of the area that I was in. So Chiaha Falls is where I wanted to go and it's right here and my truck this is the original road that i tried to go down that was all washed out and this is where i actually parked and walked in this trail to chiaha falls this is the little dirt road that we were on i showed you a video of and this is a 281 which goes past the park that's where I, this is where i saw the little brown sign so we walked in from here down to chiaha falls I didn't think to time myself or use a step meter to see what, how far it was into the falls, but if I had to guess, it took about 30 to 45 minutes. Once we got to the uh, end of the trail there, we came upon this uh, Chiaha Falls shelter. It's right on the end of the trail regardless of which road you come in from. And it's also on the ridge uh, just before you go down into the gorge where the falls is located. It provides shelter if you get caught out there in the woods in the time of storm or whatever. There are many trails through this national forest and uh, this is just part of one of those trails. This is the view at the top of the ridge looking down into the gorge where the falls are located. And now for some views of the trail going down to the falls, uh, the falls itself, different pictures of it, and then finally at the end a short video of the falls. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful fall colors of Chiaha Mountain and my impromptu walk down to Chiaha Falls. Mike didn't come with me on this little excursion, but there are many trails here at Chiaha Mountain, and I hope to do some more hikes and uh, videos and try to talk Mike in to come along with me for the exercise and for the beautiful views. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any comments, please let me know. And until next time, happy RVing and hiking.